OpenAI have just released API information for ChatGPT and also Whisper. So this is going to be a first look video where we're going to look through the announcement and see how it can be used within your company or organization. It's very exciting. So let's get straight in. So what we have is we have this page and I'll link that down below and it's introducing the ChatGPT and Whisper APIs. This is very exciting because it's what a lot of people have been waiting for trying to understand how you can build a product on top of ChatGPT. And all also Whisper is very, very interesting for taking your speech and turning it into text. And I think that there are some really awesome workflows that can happen with this in the future. So you'll see, first of all, we have the announcement March 1st, 2023. We have the authors of the announcement and we have the announcement hit. ChatGPT and Whisper are now available as APIs, which are available through um, the OpenAI API. It says they are much faster and the costs are better. And I think the costs are really, really interesting. So here we go with this. They go through early users of the ChatGPT and Whisper APIs. They mention Snap, Snapchat, who've put it in their product. They mention Quizlet, who have Quizlet QChat. And they have mentioned Instacart and Shopify. So this is super, super interesting. We also have Speak, which is cool. Um, and then we get into the details of this. So we have ChatGPT API. The ChatGPT model is in this 3.5 model. So we have ChatGPT3, which is DaVinci, Adder, Curie, Babbage. Um, and this is an extension of that. And they said that the price of this is 0.002 cent per 1K tokens. So it's a lot cheaper than the existing uh, 3.5 models. So text DaVinci 003 going to 3.5 turbo is going to be cheaper and it should be a better quality. So we can test that out later. And we're going to be building this into Riku, of course. Um, so we've got traditionally GPT models consume unstructured test text um, instead of sequence of messages together. So we're going to be looking at how uh, you can send a request with chat GPT and they have a basic here. So you have your endpoint here. You have the header where you need to provide your open AI key. You need the content type to be application JSON. And then they have a dummy of the message here. We have a chat guide for more information. I copied this into Postman and I put my OpenAI key in and it works. So it's working right now. Try it out for yourself and you can get this working. So here they're saying that they're constantly improving. They have this chat GPT 3.5 turbo and they're working on a newer version which is going to be switched over um, in April, it says. So that's very cool. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how that changes things. And then they talk about the dedicated instances. And this is what everyone was talking about with Foundry, where there's going to be you know thousands and thousands of dollars of costs to operate it, which is going to make sense for enterprise, but not really for startups. But some of the interesting stuff that was hinted at with the uh, Foundry was having the ability to have a longer memory. So you have a longer token limit. So it has a longer look back. And that's super interesting, especially for people who are dealing with longer documents, sort of having like a 50 page, 50 page plus look back on the memory is going to be ultra, ultra impressive. Um, but I think dedicated instances is more of an enterprise solution compared to a startup solution. So I imagine not really interesting for people who are um, watching this video. So Whisper was open source. So there are APIs that exist. So I'm just interested to see how this uh, API will work compared to stuff that is already on the market. So we see it is a 0 0.006 per minute. In addition, it ensures that it's faster performance compared to other services. So they have a transcriptions endpoint now. Um, I know there are different models within Whisper, so I'm interested to see. 
So they've got the large V2 model is the one that they are running through the endpoint. They're not offering the smaller models and they're not offering the larger models. So they're only offering the one model, which makes sense. And for a price of $0.006 per minute, that means for a 10-minute uh, transcription, say a 10-minute podcast, you're looking at $0.06. Six cents. For a 60-minute podcast, you'd be looking at six cents times six would be 36 cents um which seems fairly fairly reasonable so you you then do the request like this you have the multi-part form you have your authorization bearer as that you have the model and you have the file so the file path which is why you have the multi-part form um that all makes sense to me um and then we just have some information about the developer focus. They've been collecting information from customers, being interested to see what people have been using. There's information with what they do with the data. So they're keeping the data for 30 days based on what they need. Um, removing the pre-launch review. I'm interested to see the terms of service and the usage policy around this, if there is going to be a specific one or if it's going to be the same one that they already have. Um, and yeah, game on. So we are currently integrating these APIs within Riku today because you know whenever something new comes out, we want to jump on it and we want to get it into Riku for people to play with and enjoy and test and deploy as they need. So this is going to take priority for us now over some of the other things that we're working on, but it's super, super interesting. So I'll link this document below. You can play with it now through the API and we'll be building a no code uh, front end for you to enjoy and explore this within Riku. And we'll hopefully have that live in a few hours from this video going out. Super exciting times. We're very happy with how things are looking and uh, this is uh, gonna be super fun to play with and, and have fun with. So yeah, we're gonna check it out. If you wanna check it out within Riku, go to riku.ai. If you wanna check it out for yourself, we'll leave a link for this down below. Uh, thank you.